Iron rings. They're used in several martial arts, but most notably Shaolin martial arts such as Yao Kung Moon and Hung Gar. On film, Kung Fu rings are most famously shown in Marvel's Shang-Chi, or the brilliant Kung Fu Hustle, and in these films they are shown as weapons. But what these rings really are, are a training tool. There are many different rings for training in different sizes and for different purposes. In many ways, these rings can be viewed similarly to dumbbells, but for Chinese martial arts. They can go up and down in size depending on the skill and strength of the martial artist, and you can stack them. Four inch diameter rings are typical for a conditioning qi sao ring. They can be either brass or steel, and are designed to strengthen the muscles and improve mental endurance. Rather than being used as a weapon, they are designed to increase speed, stamina, and strength once removed. <laughs> Hungar training uses prolonged stances wearing such rings, combined with breathing techniques. But many martial artists will also wear the rings while practicing dynamic moves. The rings in this case can not only strengthen the muscles, but thicken the bones by way of microfractures, creating calcium deposits on top of the damaged bone tissue, which is called ossification. This is similar to how Muay Thai fighters toughen up their shins. This sort of training can also weaken pain signals sent to the brain and further make a fighter less hesitant or reactive to pain. However, practicing active techniques with such weights too quickly, with too much weight can cause injury to the joints, and it takes careful training to use the rings. The rings also help a student maintain extremely tight hand and arm muscles, as after a strike, the rings will slide down the arms and smash into the back of the hands. Larger rings, sometimes called rattan rings, can also be used in martial arts training. It's a tool for helping a fighter learn to strike from within a confined space, or while restricted. Such training is sometimes used in Wing Chun. Again, these rings would be used generally just for training, but that's not to say they don't make for an interesting or cinematic weapon as well. All right, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this little brief on iron rings and their use in martial arts training. Feel free to add anything in the comments section. Have a nice day, and we'll see you next time.